Yes, sir, man. We are back. We are back, man. Make sure you check out episode one. Everything will be in the play this, man. I got two series going on with Madden. Next week, we'll have a 2K series, man. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, man. Look, hit that like button. Make sure you sub up, man. Hey, week one, we killed the Giants, man. Let's look. Look at this. Say, CCD Lamb had six receptions, 121 yards, one touchdown, man. But look, look at your boy over here on the passing leader. Look at this. He completed 77%, 285 yards with three touchdowns, man. Come on. Come on, man. We got, Now we're going up against this defense. We're going up against the Jets, man. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you sub up. Y'all enjoy the video. Peace. And we'll see Tony Pollard. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Cowboys and the Jets coming up next. GA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Dallas Cowboys. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Come on, come on. <laughs> They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. A big play here for Dallas. 43 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Flush to his right. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You've got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but... The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some momentumship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. First down, and it's Pollard again. They'll get this up to about the 44. The rushing numbers for Pollard last week. Very productive. Three touchdowns. Two of them on the ground, one through the air. And it will always be a compliment to say that a guy's got a nose for the end zone, and he sure had it last week. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. 
as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Here's Pollard again. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. the gun to give to Pollard. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now an option play and he'll keep it. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Back to throw here. Rolling to his right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. They'll start with the option. And they get him down. Before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's caught once again by Gallup. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Pollard will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Boy, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few play? About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And got his man complete! The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A nice throw. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. 
Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Let's go now. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Luke Schoonmaker. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the duck. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they'll begin by running the option. An anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Sorry, Coach. Put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start by running the option to the right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. C.J. Mosley getting to him behind the line of scrimmage there. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And they'll get to him right away at the 40. Now we give here to Pollard. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That was Carl Lawson in pursuit that time, and he gets the stop. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, 65 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making... About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Steps away to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's second and three. And he's going to use his legs here. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. How about that? Their quarterback, 42 yards. And the Cowboys are on their way to a 2-0 start. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offense. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll start by running the option to the right. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. But well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him? Though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Looking like they're well on their way to a two. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. We well, gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's gonna get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they're going option play on third down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Brian Anger now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So here is Wilson and the Jets down by 16. A little over a minute and a half remaining. Somehow they need to... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. 
Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports